This is the first episode of the dramatic series Invisible Friend from the audio drama How We Manage Stuff. It is entitled Angel of the Morning. A story. A story. May we tell you a story. A house in San Francisco. My house. A house of a business leader. And the morning sun is starting to rise. A dog waiting to go out. And of course there is an alarm. This is our story. No. May we no. begin? A minute, not yet. The stock market is up, oh, but a political no, crisis no, no, may be brewing. No, what do we really no, know about the economy? No. That and a touching no, human but, interest but, story but. on morning. Up, Madison. Uh, Miss Madison, you need to get no, up. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You have to get up. Oh, just now. another minute. Mr. Skippy needs to go out. There's a dog door. I need to go use it. Breakfast is ready. Like a star. Mr. Vinny wouldn't like that. Who's he? And you have visitors this morning. We'll tell them to come back. Tomorrow. Mm-mm. Too late. What? Too late? Morning, gorgeous. What? Huh? Time to rise and shine. Are you the angel of death? Maybe the angel of the morning? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, Ravinda? <laughs> Very few attorneys make house calls, you know? <clears throat> and there is a good reason for that. You know, Jason? Ah! Um, hi. You have the whole law firm here? Of course not. We'd have to bill you for all of them if we did. Oh, but we'd have fed them breakfast, wouldn't we, Consuela? I've put more plates on the table, Miss Madison. Mm, see? Your shower is ready. And breakfast downstairs. It, it's downstairs. Mm, okay. You need to talk to me, Madison. Come with me. Where are you going? To take my shower. Come on. Oh. Um, Jason, maybe you should stay here. Oh, for heaven's sake. This is an audio drama, Aravinda. So? I'm imaginary, you're imaginary, even Jason. The audience? Um, they're the most imaginary of all. I've never met any one of them. Have you? Don't be silly, Maddy. I'm not being silly. I'm just saying that our job is to tell the truth rather than pander to the collective imagination. But you can control the imagination. Mm -hmm. We'll see about that. Uh, young man, let's put a little discipline to your imagination, hmm? Yes, ma'am. So I don't suppose this visit is about your report? The report you're assembling for me? No, but Jason finished it. Where do you want it? Um, Jason, you carrying the paperwork today? Yes, ma'am. Put it in my bag on the credenza. Okay. Oh, is there anything new in it? It's new to me. That's not Jason. really the question I asked. And Aziz has texted. He is on his way. Aziz, that... That isn't the same Aziz from the report? There's a lot for you to learn, Jason. But is it the same Aziz? See why I asked if there was anything new? Come on, Aravinda, come on. So, if this uh, visit is not about your research report, is it a social? Nope. Consuela doesn't mean breakfast, especially her marmalade. Oh, I love her marmalade. Ooh. You know I know. We would eat it from the pot when we were kids. That was when I decided that she was always going to keep my house. About the same time I decided you were always going to be my lawyer. So you've saved. Well, it was a decade before you decided to go to law school. Didn't I have some say in that decision? Uh, I have a way of picking people. Uh, can you uh, hand me the shampoo? Blue bottle. <clears throat> a blue bottle on the toilet. Mm. Here you go. So if it's, if it's not your report, it's my filing. 
you're here about my filing. You were up late last night. Oh, and there's a razor out there somewhere. Could you hand it to me? Mm. Oh, sure. I wasn't up that late. File the revised earnings report. And notice that you may be selling some of your stock options. Mm-hmm, that's right. It makes no rational sense, Madison. Well, this isn't about rational sense, dear attorney of mine. Could you pass me a towel? But it's about numbers. Yeah, numbers only seem to be rational. I believe that some numbers are actually imaginary, but towels are not. So on the rack behind you. Are you claiming their numbers are of wrong? Of course not. I'm claiming they're telling the wrong story. Um, a towel? Would it surprise you that we've already gotten a letter? No, but I wish a towel had come with it. Not a complaint. But three big investors are concerned. And I'm concerned too. And dripping wet. And a little cold. Could you pass me a towel? Oh, sure. Did you talk to anyone about your plans? Did anyone else know? Well, what do you think? You tell me. Vinny? Vinny's been my mentor since I was eight. Would he have told anyone? It's Vinny. Please. Uh, um, Jason? Yes, ma'am? Consuelo laid out some underwear on the dresser. Could you pass it in here? Um, I'd rather not. You and I both know that Aravinda is billing me for your time, even though you're imaginary, so you might as well do something useful. Um, uh, okay. This, this is the associate you've chosen to do my personal legal work, Aravinda? Uh, Here it is. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <sighs> you told Vinny. He is still my mentor. He is one more person who is part of your decision. He has been with me on every corporate conflict. So that's what? Dozen major governance fights? Sixteen. And on each, he would ask the same question. Right, right. Are you seeing things clearly? So, what do we wear today? Hmm. You know you have twenty or thirty identical dresses here? <laughs> Look closely. Subtle variations in weight. But black turtlenecks work for Steve Jobs. Orange dresses work for me. I think we want a little more warmth today. Miss hmm. Madison? Miss Madison? Yes, Consuela? As he says, he will be here in ten minutes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, but there is always time for breakfast. <laughs> you and your breakfast. Best meal of the day. Most important meal of the day. A uh, Mr. Jason. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Could you bring my bag downstairs? We'll give you some breakfast. Put a little flesh on your bones. Yes, ma'am. And maybe a little fuzz on your chin. <laughs> Are you worried, Ari? You pay me to worry. But you worried long before I paid you. Yeah, well. You know the pattern. Yes, I do. Always, always, always. At this point, an investor will make a bad judgment and get scared. Yes, I do. They, no, no. He, he was successful once. Even if he knows he was just lucky, and he believes that he will always be successful. Yes, yes, yes. Makeup, deodorant. Right, right, right. And your hair comes. And you know, you know what happens next. Of course. He will conclude that I'm looking at things wrong because I'm a woman. And will be indiscreet enough to say just that. Uh, Aravinda letting you look at my business accounts, Jason? No, ma'am. Just the reports. Oh, far more dramatic than my personal life. Oh, and they'll reveal to you the secrets of corporate governance. Because I'm a lawyer? Because you're a guy. Oh, and here we are. At Consuela's breakfast. <laughs> Coffee's there, cereal there, eggs if you want them, and Sit. marmalade Sit. for all. Don't eat standing up. Miss Madison. Miss Madison. Good morning. Mm. Oh, Aziz, how are you this morning? You're grateful for every day you are alive. Oh, Aziz, this is Jason, who works with Aravinda. And Jason, this is Aziz from your report. A report? Oh, I'm honored. And I have new pictures of the grandchildren. Do you wish to see? Mm, of course, of course. And I, I, I brought, I brought the envelope from Vinny. From Vinny? He said, he he said, open it when the job is done. Done? <laughs> Sounds like Vinny. What's it about? It, he he did not say. Do you think it's about your filing? 
Um, could you pass me a muffin? You've not explained Vinny's role in all of this. <laughs> It's Vinny. Do I need to? Um, can I? Uh, yes, Jason? Um, uh, Vinny didn't appear in my report. Oh, because he had nothing to do with the issues in that report. Then can I ask, um, who's Vinny? Vinny? You can ask, but you're really asking who's Madison Insuli. Who is Madison Insuli? Vinny. I was asking about Vinny. Yes, you were. But the story begins with Maddie. Mm -hmm. With me. Yes, with you. Shall we go back to the beginning? We'll start it in a kitchen, very much like this one, but with a Maddie who is considerably younger, eight years old. I'm almost nine. Hi. Consuela is here, but she is a very young woman. My first job. Which she, she secured with her marmalade recipe. Hmm, I don't think that's how it happened. And Aziz is also here. Oh, he's my driver. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> But no grandchildren yet. Or even any children. But I'm about to be married. Selena, my bride. And we want children. A family. Lots of children. And he is about to take you to the Lillian Moller Gilbreth School for Disruptive Innovation. Oh, that's my school. We need to leave now, Ms. Madison. What? No, uh, just a minute. Now. No. Oh, Tommy. This begins the story of Invisible Friends. It's a story of a little girl and a grown-up woman. A story of a little company and the powers of global capitalism. And it's a story of a dog who has been patiently waiting for a bit of muffin. Here, Pooch. Nino. Nino, Nino, Nino. Not by hand. Not in my kitchen. Skippy's bowl is there. This episode is entitled The Angel of the Morning, episode 21210, from the audio drama Invisible Friend. It and other episodes can be found at all the major podcast sites, including Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, and Spotify, under the title How We Manage Stuff, or at our website, which is HowWeManageStuff.com. It is copyright 2021 by Jaggy LLC. Thanks for coming. We'll see you tomorrow.